Okay, so let's get started with that smoked trout dry rub. I've got brown sugar, garlic powder, paprika, kosher salt, Old Bay seasoning, Cajun style, spicy, Louisiana classic, salt free seasoning, garlic and herb. Now you don't need all this. Basically, you can just use the brown sugar, kosher salt, garlic powder, onion powder. I'm out of that. You could use lemon pepper. Um, and that would just be your basic. You don't even need the lemon pepper. That would be your basic dry rub brine right there. I just have these things, so I want to add a little extra punch. You know how I am. <laughs> All right. Let's get started. All right, so that was one pound. I'm going to do four cups brown sugar to one cup kosher salt. This is going to be probably more than I need, but I don't care. Um, because you need to put this on liberally. I mean heavy on the fish. One cup of the kosher salt. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> One cup of the kosher salt. So this is four cups to one cup. Yeah, I'm sure this is going to be way more than I need. Garlic powder. Tablespoon of garlic powder. Okay, I'm trying to use measurements for you guys. This feels so weird. Because I don't usually do this. <laughs> but I'm doing it for you. This is the garlic and herb. Now I want some flavor in these babies. Tablespoon. And you are going to wash this off after it sits for a little while. Cajun style. Oh yeah, baby. Got to have a little Cajun up in this house on that trout. Oh, that was a big tablespoon. Oops, that was an accident. Right. And some of this salt free seasoning I got at the Dollar Tree. It's got a little kick. I love the flavor of it. So I want a little savory and sweet. That is really my taste, sensation, flavor profile. Okay, whatever the hell that all meant. <laughs> And we're going to put in a little Obey. So I want a little lighter on the kosher salt. Because a lot of these other seasonings I have here have salt added to them. Um, you would, some people would use three cups brown sugar to a cup and a half of kosher salt. Then just the garlic powder and onion powder and... But I got a big hot mess of goodness right here. Okay. I'm going to stir that all up. Okay, so there are five trout. They all look like rainbows. I'm going to try my little mixture here. Mm. Yes. Yes, I like that. Now, a lot of people might not. It is sweet with quite a bit of a Cajun savory flavor to it. If you just want sweet, leave that other stuff out. Now, what I'm going to do here with these trout is I'm going to, well, I'm going to try Cut this off. Okay. 
and then I'm going to cut them down a little bit farther. Not that there's that much meat down in this tail section, because these are smaller trout, little lake trout. All right, and then I'm going to cut them a little bit. Because I want the seasoning to get all in there. That's not working real well. I'm going to cut these. Get my big daddy knife. Yeah, baby. I love that knife. Subscriber sent to me. I believe it was Everett. Thank you, Everett. I use it all the time. It's sharp. Cuts right through. Yeah. I want to do that so that the brine can get in there, especially since these are not filleted and are not butterflied. They're just too small to be messing around with all that. this knife. It's my miracle. My miracle blade. Yeah. And you'll feel when you're hitting, you know, the bones. Just be careful. Alright. Now, all we're going to do here is liberally coat this fish inside, outside, all sides. Very, very liberally. Okay, I'm going to make a mess. get it down in those crevices. You do not want to be stingy with the dry brine. And you'll see once this sits, you'll see all the liquid that will be coming out of the fish. It's kind of weird. It's interesting. Cramming that brine down in those slits. Both sides. You see, I have about that much left. So now we're going to put a lid on it, and you can put it in a cooler with lots of ice or pop it in the fridge. I've seen some people say do it overnight, some people say one to two hours. So I'm going to go with four hours. This is my first attempt. I've never done this. So yeah, I'm going to try it with four hours to see how much of the flavor of the brine permeates the fish. Again, these are smaller fish. I don't want them to be overpowered uh, by saltiness because trout is a very delicate fish. Okay, it's been three hours. Look, isn't that interesting? See all that liquid that has come out of the fish. I didn't add any liquid and I had dried all the fish. So what we're going to do is you need to rinse this fish off real good. You don't want any of that clumped up brine on the fish. And then we're going to put it on that rack. But I want to show you, it's a little bit of an effort to open this. So the fish has gotten stiffer. That's what you want. Just 
So we want to clean this real good. All in there. All down in here. And then put it in there for another bath. We'll do a second rinse in that bath. I'm doing it this way and not over the sink. It's just easier because I'm in this trailer. You could just do this right over the sink, of course. I can definitely feel a difference in the stiffness. Again, that is what you're looking for. Really not much left. And then what you want to do is put them on a rack to dry. Again, because these are smaller, I'd say an hour. Probably do it to an hour and a half before you put them on the grill. This one, I got a little exuberant and kind of cut it through. <laughs> Gonna let that dry out a little bit for about an hour in the fridge. So about 15 minutes before I'm ready to smoke those on the grill, I'll soak the applewood wood chips and start the charcoal chimney. Okay. Woohoo! I've never done this, so I'm excited to see how this turns out. Quite honestly, I hope it turns out well. Okay, there are the trout that have dried out for a little while. We're going to put them on the grill. Woo! Smoking away. One fishy wishy. Two <laughs> fishy wishy. The shit better taste good after all this work. That's all I got to say. Right. There are the five trout. Those are the big ones. Those are the little chillins. Those are the smaller three. All right, smoking time. Oh, look at them. Yes, they're getting there. Okay, see that one? See it's missing a section? Uh-oh, that ended up in my mouth. <laughs> It tastes really good. So I flip them to the other side. See, that's one side. And I put the fatter ends closer to the fire. And so we're going to smoke them on this side for a while. All right, these babies are ready to plate. There it is. Tastes wonderful. Okay, I just gave my neighbor that little piece right there. He thinks it tastes wonderful. Right? Right. <laughs> okay. I know it may be hard with the lighting. I just wanted to show you. I mean, you can see how it's glistening. It's still moist. Oh man, I can't stop picking at it, folks. 
Yes, there's lots of moisture in it. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. See, there are some of the natural oils. There are some of the natural oils from the trout, I suppose, in there. Okay, my fingernails are not dirty. They're from picking at the fish. Wow. This is yummy. I gotta get busy eating. Bye. Toodles my noodles.